All right, I'm going to be using an application called lossless scaling to get a ton of frames on a set of Corsa. Obviously, I got CSP time of day, 11 a.m. Um, I also have my hardware uh, changed a bit, so I overclocked it a little bit. Uh, it's a 3070 that I have RTX. Put my power limit to the max core at 120 and then memory clock an extra 1000 there saved it all good I'll move this to my other screen there and uh, there we go and so I'm gonna use this app called lossless scaling and the setup that I have I just want to change something here I want to put HDR support performance cursor da -da -da -da. and I am putting basically four times my frame rate you can upgrade the sharpness you can choose a ton of different um, scaling types and we can test that out but right now if i go to my settings uh, this was the real settings let me just make sure it was working because earlier i had an issue okay so it's still working i had to reset the wheel earlier um same 32.3 frames which is accurate and right now I have the NV photorealism filter, overall maximum glare. Uh, I could put that very high now, depth of field, very high, heat shimmering, all that stuff. Mirror resolution maxed. Uh, shutter resolution, I lowered it, but with this application, I should be able to increase that. World details max, anastrophic filtering 16 times, MSA four times. Smoke generation, uh, I put low. Shadow resolution, I might change that, but first I want to play around with this. Reflections, 55 R, save that. And we're starting here. Let's go. So when we look at the exterior, make sure everything's working. So lights work, all that stuff. So I'm getting 45 frames per second right now, and uh, just crashed like an idiot. quality of the image like on the dark horse symbol here we're having issues shadows shadows even won't let me do anything but okay that's figured out turn left turn right it's okay it's all good okay so 47 frames all that shenanigans there and i will go to this application Let's go to the application, please. Okay, lossless scaling. So how this works, you change all the settings there, choose what kind of scaling you want. This has to be on, I have it at four times for frames per second. You can choose the level of sharpness, more or less. I have it set to auto, because I found when I put custom, it's lagging. Optimized version, uh, drive PS, HDR support, max frame latency, I put two. Sync mode, I have default, capture API, DXG1, or DXGI, I mean, left like that, I didn't change anything here, prefer GPU on auto, 
and this has to be LSFG. So then when you want to apply this, you press scale and then you gotta click the window. This only works if you're in window mode or full full screen window. So now it's on. does cost about nine bucks Canadian. Now the other things we can show is I can go back to the app. So I gotta press my Windows key there. And a lot of this I'm testing, I just bought this, so uh, you got FSR, you got LS1, I hear LS1 performs better, but if I go two times the speed, um, so it's saying it was saying that I was getting 20 frames with this. So maybe I'll go three times. Let's go LS1. I'll unscale and I'll scale back. But I gotta press the screen and boom. So now originally I would get 32, but I am getting maybe three. Probably just a little bit less tearing on the screen. some other some other stuff here so let's see that's ls1 let's go anime 4k on scale i don't know what this is going to do but let's see select the screen okay FSR was working fine, but if I go, let's sharpen it eight times, and I'm gonna go with the four, four times mode, because that way I get the most out of it, and scale, press the screen, so it automatically goes right down to 48, um, 48 frames, now boom, 188. I also don't know if I want all this sharpening because then it might be too much. Yeah, it gives a little bit too much film grain, which I'm not a fan of. I turn the lights on. Yeah, I think the over sharpening is an option that I want. I don't want it too sharp. So we'll go to basically, what was it? 3, 4. I don't know if this matter. Let's go 5. And unscale. And then scale. Press it. So basically I'm getting 47 frames originally to 188, 190, pretty much. This looks much better. I also have to map my traction control button. Performance 
that's there in your graphics card might not be a 3090. This is pushing those those numbers quite well. This card loves to, to, to spin. But that is it. So that's how you get triple four times the frame rate. And um, it's amazing. It works. It's awesome. I love it. And it makes a huge difference. Have a good one.